if you're comfortable talking about it, I mean, you you kind of publicly came out through, if my research led me correctly, through a kind of weird interview with a journalist? I think that would, um, yeah, it was a really weird interview. Yeah. And um, <laughs> I, my Abby Abrams came out because yeah. I was like, what? Yeah, I think it's so interesting, whatever. Like that that queer people like have to publicly come out. Yeah. Like, I, what, This is an obvious statement, but like I hate that like straight people don't have to say a fucking thing. Yeah, yeah. And um, yeah, so it was in a, it was kind of a big outlet. It was Vanity Fair. I think I was promoting the book. Six Balloons? No, Six Balloons. It definitely would have been the book because the book is is all about that. Uh, That's so funny. Uh, It was for Six Balloons, which is this uh, film I was doing. And she goes, you're such a catch. Like, why are you single? <laughs> like, what kind of guy are you into? Yours, I don't get it. And I was like, oh, hmm. like it was not a secret to me at all, but I also yeah. wasn't going to like like tweet it. Yeah, yeah. Or I don't know, that just didn't feel like my vibe. And I stumbled through mm. making sure she knew I was queer on the phone. <laughs> the phone. And then in the article, it, it appears I was stumbling through it. Yeah. But I, yeah. I was, I guess I was just relieved that I, I don't know. It was. But but it wasn't a secret. Like you were no, like, I, I want to be honest about this, but it's not like, I don't want this to be a coming out, but you understand how media works too. Not at all. And I also, the way she even phrased it, I was like, oh, this is not a thing that's known. Mm. Even though I, <laughs> like Rosie, I was practicing. Uh, so <laughs> I think that's you. correct in my Wikipedia. So yeah. no one needs to go on oh, it. Oh, I'll be editing it yeah. today. Yeah. <laughs> but uh, yeah. I don't know what, I, I just was like, well, I have to correct this person because I don't, this isn't incorrect. Yeah. Uh, th- except for the fact that I am a catch. But yeah. Um, yeah. not, I not, not don't correct, correct that. Yeah. yeah. But um, yeah, it was clumsy. But I also, I, you know, I think something, I was, I was trying to formulate this question, but like, you're totally right that I think this whole notion and performance of coming out is kind of bizarre. I think, you know, like, I came out at 18, which was so like, I had a very Ryan Murphy coming out, you know, it's a like, <laughs> mom, dad, I'm gay, you know, and they're like, we know, and then everyone was like crying. And I think like, that changes, like, I, 2006 is recent, but it feels like a totally different time. Wait, you're, you're, wait, 2006 was is when I came okay, out. Okay, I was like, wait, yeah, that, yeah, yeah, yeah. You, <laughs> I'm telling you, well, no. Yeah, I, yeah I, I came out in 2006 and it just feels so different, meaning the, what you're articulating is, I think, the prevailing feeling of, like, I don't want to come out, I'm just queer, like... I just didn't feel like I needed to make some sort of announcement. I yeah. also, I mean, I was so old. Yeah. But like, it was, like, I was, not that that has anything to do with the announcement. I just, like, sort of realized this about myself pretty late. Mm. And once I did, I was very much open about it. I mean, it's in everything I make. Yeah, yeah. And I think, <laughs> uh, and I don't know. I mean, I, it was sort of like kind of right that it happened that way. I was yeah. like, oh, you don't know Vanity Fair. <laughs> yeah, you got to educate them. 